My name is Chris Acosta. I'm an electrical engineering major. I just transferred from Washtenaw Community College right here in Ann Arbor. I was at community college for two years, and before that I spent time in the military. The transfer engineering transfer specialist at <clears throat> the engineering side uh, told all of us that were transferring in through email about this opportunity. I want to go into uh, alternative energy development and also um, <clears throat> really the efficiency side of things. Not just developing new alternative energies to you, but making the things that we already use, like wind power right now is incredibly inefficient. So that's one of the things I want to work on, is how to make that more efficient, how can we get more out of what we already have. I'm working with the nuclear engineering department, so it's, a, it's not quite my major, but it's, it's always great to have inter interdisciplinary stuff going on. My advisor is Mark Hamney, we're working on uh, we, transmutation of carbon. We're running high, really high voltages through these carbon rods and making uh, arcs through the air across them. What happens is uh, the air ionizes around the carbon and what we've been noticing is uh, slightly different uh, minerals that are in there before and after. Like our pieces of carbon that we use are, use are about 99% pure and afterwards we're seeing huge chunks of like aluminum and magnesium in there that wasn't there before. So what we're trying to do is recreate this effect and see if we can figure out exactly why this is happening and and maybe make it marketable or make it ease, a lower cost way of kind of making these minerals that we don't don't really have. We all work individually just with uh, Mr. Hamming is just kind of advising us and guiding us <clears throat> so I get to make a lot of my own decisions on what what happens next so depending on what day it is I might set up a lab or I'll look at my review my results from the last day <clears throat> or set up appointments with other other departments so I can go use their machinery. It makes you realize that you're at the next level now. Because even like I work with a lot of these people at the chemistry department, the aeronaut, uh, aerospace department, <clears throat> and I have before I even go meet with them, I have to go fully prepared to speak with them in the academic sense. They wanted to speak to me like I was a chemist, so I had to go out, do my research, come back, and speak with them like a chemist.